guys hope you're having a fantastic day just wanted to get a quick video out to you guys today this won't be a very long one but we got new data today from january from the canopy mls and i'm not going to go through all the data points with you today i do want to save some of those data points for future videos but one thing that struck me from the data today that was really really mind-blowing to me was pending home sales and the increase in pending home sales we saw from December to January. So I want to share with you what those numbers are. And then I had to think like putting the pieces together of why this number went up so much. It really didn't take me long to figure it out, but I was kind of surprised at the same time because the numbers seemed a little bit larger than I would have expected. But I want to dive right into the data here and show you exactly what this is, is all about and the reasons why we saw this number go up. So let's head right over here to pending home sales and take a look at what's happening. So if we look at this chart here, this is the pending home sales on a year over year basis. And you can see that we were down 12% in that uh, circle there in blue. But let's shift our gears over here to the right hand side in the box in red. Take a look at the January number of 36, 38 pending home sales. And then just to the right of that, you can see the number last December of 41, 35. Subtracting those two from each other is where you get the minus 12%. But if you go up and look at December of 2022, you'll see the number of 2,330 pending home sales. And then January, once again, 36, 38. That is a pretty steep increase in my opinion, because if you go back up and you look back to the months of June and July, uh, you know, even August, we were in the 4,000s and we dropped all the way down to 2330. Now we're back up again. So I thought, what is going on? And I had an idea of what was happening, but I really kind of wanted to get in here and dissect some things. And that's what I really want to share with you guys today. But that gap between December and January is actually a 36% increase in pending home sales in just the last 30 days. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some reasons why this is going up. And it'll be very clear to you after I go through this exactly what is happening. And it all starts with mortgage rates. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here with mortgage rates. So you'll notice right here that we are at right now, as of today, we are at a 6.78% fixed interest rate on the 30 year fixed. And one thing I'll point out to you is I'll show you in a minute, this number has gone up a lot in the last just three weeks. But this number here in yellow, the 7.37%, just so you're aware of what that is, that is the highest interest rate over the last 12 months. That's what that is showing you. So with 6.78, we are knocking on the door of getting back to the highest that we were at within the last 12 months, which guys is not good. I know a lot of you are struggling right now to find a home. Affordability is such a big part um, you know, of your plans going forward. A lot of you guys are reaching out, you wanna buy, you just can't, I totally get it. It sucks and I, I hate it for you. All we can do guys is hope that home prices continue to fall and interest rates continue to fall. And hopefully that's gonna help a lot of people out um, to get into a house. But I wanna show you kind of what is making this interest rate number go up over just the last three weeks. And it may only be that one reason that I'm gonna show you real quick here. So uh, let's take a look at some data that came out today. And this morning, um, it is February 16th today. This number came out today about wholesale inflation. And it says stocks close lower, Dow sheds 400 points after another hot inflation report raises rate hike fears. So today's data, guys, was not good on the wholesale inflation number. To make matters worse, on Tuesday, this came out regarding the consumer price index. Now, this is really the number and the report that the Fed really gauges their inflation um, numbers off of and kind of where we're standing on inflation. And this was February 14th, so just two days ago. It says inflation rose 0.5% in January, more than expected and up 6.4% from a year ago. So guys, just about two weeks ago, Fed Chair Jerome Powell uh, talked to us all and he said, hey, look, it looks like we've got inflation under control. We are starting to see the early signs of disinflation and everything looks to be wonderful. 
And going forward, maybe we've turned the corner on this whole inflation thing. And then we get news today and on Tuesday like this that shows, hey, maybe we really haven't done enough about inflation. And now investors are freaked out. They're thinking of further rate hikes are coming. The markets are all kind of in disarray. And that's why mortgage rates have gone up the way they have. And this is having a big impact on uh Obviously, house costs when you're talking about a mortgage, and I'm going to get into some of that um, as well for you here in just a second. But what I want to do now, I want to go over and talk a little bit more about interest rates. So let's go do that now. So if we go take a look at uh, 30-year fixed rate mortgages, as I just said, today we are at 6.78. In the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you can see the date. You'll see that today is Thursday, February 16th. So I want to go back and look at the last point in time that rates were higher than they are today. So if we just track this line back, we're gonna end up right here. And that number is gonna be 7.22% was the last time rates were higher than they are today. And as you can see the date, that was on November 9th. So back to the question of why pending home sales have gone up so much from December to January. Well, if we follow this line down, remember, when we hit this top part here, actually that was not the top part. Let me take you back over here into October. Interest rates were the highest they were in the last 12 months at 7.37%, which was that number I showed you in yellow uh, just a moment ago. So back to our question. So uh, rates right here coming into the month of uh, November, we sat here about the 7.22 mark. And then within two days, rates came down to 6.62%. So a lot of people that are kind of hanging out on the sidelines, watching interest rates, watching home prices, rates took a big uh, dive in just those two days. And then everyone was still kind of following along. Rates were kind of remaining stable. And then when we hit uh, November 29th, we started to go down again to 6.29%. Okay, so now we're getting into the lowest that we've been in quite a while. Rates are kind of hunkering in the low sixes and then December 9th, we start coming down even farther and we get to 6.13% in the middle of December. So a lot of people's mentality at this point is saying, hey, interest rates are going to start falling more. Let's maybe get our home purchase ideas back on the radar. Okay, so we had a little bit more of an increase here, not too terribly bad. But when we got right here to January, January 5th, we back up to six and a half and then things started to come back down again into the very low sixes right here. So guys, we're at 6.04%. And this is the point in time, this, this part here and probably the two weeks before where a lot of people were feeling really optimistic about interest rates. And then when we got over here, check this out. On February 2nd, we hit 5.99%. Even I thought that we were gonna be really trending into the mid 5% range. Everything that I was following, everything that I was hearing was inflation was getting under control. We've turned the corner. Everything was going to start getting better in 2023, and it very well might. But this was only um, 14 days ago. So two weeks ago, we were at 5.99%, and look where we are now. We're heading right back up again. Guys, I hope that we can get these interest rates back down. So many of you that are watching this channel, I know I feel your pain. I really, really, really do. I know a lot of you want to get in a house and you're waiting for two things to happen, rates to come down and prices to come down. And this having a major impact on house payments uh, between these interest rates over the last year. So let me show you what that looks like. So if we go down here and take a look, we just talked about today's interest rate was at 6.78%. A year ago today, interest rates were at 4.10%. We have gone up 2.68% in a year. So let me show you what that does to a mortgage payment in this little calculator here. So let's assume that you are gonna buy a house at $400,000. You're gonna put down 5%, which means you're gonna put down $20,000, right? And your loan amount's gonna be $380,000. At that 4.10% interest rate, your monthly payment of, is going to be $1,836. Now, this does not include uh, property taxes, homeowners insurance, or mortgage insurance to keep this very simple. All of those numbers can change based upon the property and the loan amount, especially taxes and insurance. 
So just keeping things very apples to apples. Um, if you were to include taxes and insurance and mortgage insurance into this number, you're really gonna need to think about $500 a month probably, um, maybe a little bit more than that. But 1836 is the principal and interest. So let's go over here and take a look at what would happen if the interest rate was at 6.78%, which is right here. All the other variables stay the same. The principal and interest payment is gonna to go to 2472. All right, guys, so that is a difference of $636 a month from a year ago based upon today's interest rates, guys. That is absolutely crazy. I, I hope that we get to a point where we are back into at least the low fives. I would love to see the high fours. I was really hoping that by the quarter three of 2023, we would be back in that range. And we still could be, uh, but with this inflation looking like it's you know rearing its ugly head again, uh, we might have a little bit more work to do and there's potentially further rate hikes coming based upon the news um, that we're seeing right now. So anyway, guys, guys, I hope you uh, found this helpful. Drop in the comments below what you're thinking. I would love to hear what you're thinking. I mean, I want to know if you were kind of getting ready to maybe do something now with these interest rates going back up, it's kind of set you back. I would just love to hear your comments. Uh, so drop those in the uh, in the comments below. And hey, if you're new to the channel, I totally forgot to introduce myself. If you're a new viewer here, my name is Brian Taylor. I'm the owner of Dreamline Realty right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I appreciate you tuning in today. Guys, that's really all I wanted to share with you today. Just talking about this topic because I found it so fascinating when I saw these numbers today. So um, guys, if there's anything I can ever do for you in your home search, please reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, hop on a Zoom call with me in the video description below is a link right to my calendar. I would love to hop on Zoom, chat about your situation, see what questions I can answer for you and just be a resource for you in your home search, guys. So I'm gonna put another video on the screen right here. It's the last video I did. You may wanna check that one out. And guys, once again, thanks for watching. And as always, make it a great day.